Sydney, Maryland, and today's video will be about Quinceañera Expo. So, this sun, well, last Sunday, which was the Sunday 26th of January, there was a Quinceañera Expo, which is done like every year for like all the quinceañeras that want to have their dress, their venue, DJs, and stuff like that. Um, so this is what it looks like. I just wanted to share my experience. This is like my third year doing this. Okay, so this was like my third year doing this and I kind of had a little bad experience with um, the makeup in general. So I'm gonna be posting like photos and videos of like me modeling, um, how they did my makeup and like after, before and after my makeup, how I had to redo it because it was bad. Okay, so um, I had to wake up at 6.30 in the morning or 6 in the morning to do my own hair because um, the makeup stylist, it was only makeup and it wasn't hair. So I woke up at 6.30, I did my hair, then I left to go get my makeup done and it was like at 8.30 and it took me like an hour to get from here to there. So once I got there, I was like the third, fourth girl to get called to do their makeup. And I was like midway through, the lady was doing my foundation and she was done with my foundation. She forgot to do my eyebrows and all she did was like fill it in a little bit and she didn't like brush it and like put gel brush over it so that was bad and also she didn't use a lot of translucent powder because the powder that I use is so the one that I use is this and she used like a different translucent powder and kind of made my skin a little sticky and like when she was doing the makeup like she didn't use she didn't use a sponge to like put on her hand and like put on my face because you know you're supposed to do that when you have like makeup or whatever and like she didn't do that and like her hand was like sticking to my face and it was like super super sticky it felt so gross i'm so sorry but it felt so gross also my eyeshadow oh my god Okay, so my eyeshadow, let me just show you like a color, like what it's supposed to be. So it was, so it was this color. It had to be neon because our theme was like neon with robotic electronic or stuff like that. Because that's what the expo was about. It was because every year they have a theme. Like last year's was chess related. And then the year before that was black and green for us because my agency's colors are black and green. Okay, so my um, agency's colors were black and green last year, sorry. And the year after, before that was, it was chess related. So I had to be like the horse and I'll probably post photos of like before um, the other two quinceanera expos that I did. This one was neon green with silver because it's supposed to be like robotic with our major color that we have for our agency. And the lady, she didn't like my eyeshadow, you couldn't even see it. And the palette that she had was the James Charles palette. Um, and this other one that had like an amazing neon green and she like, let me just show you. So like, she had the brush and let me show you with the palette. So she had the brush and she had the palette and literally she just went like, like, she barely even touched it and there was like no product on the brush and she was just like dabbing it like she wasn't like how it's supposed to be. Like, you couldn't even see my makeup, and it was like, it was bad. Like, she put black under my eye, and I usually never put black under my eye. I only put black on my waterline, and I looked like I just came from, like, 
a rock star event or something or like a rock event it was like uh, whatever <laughs> okay so going on with the makeup my lips were supposed to be neon green because i was like the first to last to come on and like the lady in charge like the manager if that's what you want to call it she told me she was like oh let's have you be in a neon green lip because all the other girls are going to be like nude or it's going to be black or it's going to be silver and i was like okay sure that's fine this lady she told her why don't you use a highlighter to outline her lips let me, let that sink in for a while okay so let me just show you so she had like this green highlighter and she had this yellow highlighter but they were like together so it was like a neon green highlighter she opened it she started outlining my lips with the green highlighter like and then there was like other makeup artists around and one of them it was a guy he came over he took the sharp the sharpie the highlighter and he read it he was like you should try it on yourself first before trying it on on her just in case and she didn't like she just started outlining my lips she saw that nothing was working she grabbed another highlighter she started coloring in my lips that was like are you sure you're supposed to put that product on my lip mm -mm. and then she started like dabbing the highlighter on my lips so that it would like stick on but it wasn't sticking on it was bad that's all i gotta say so um eyelashes oh my god so the eyelashes that i have on right now are fake but you can see they look natural and that's what i like about eyelashes and, like the ones that she put on like you can't even like see the eyelash like it for an event, it has to be thick. Like, okay, so these are the ones that she put on on me. And like, one of my mom's friends, she was like, did she put eyelashes on you? Those look like your natural eyelashes. And I was like, no, she put eyelashes on me. And like, you couldn't even see like the thickness of it. Like, I'll show you the picture right now. I'll just put it up. I came home, I made my eyeshadow look a little bit darker, I took the black out from here and I just put it like in my waterline and then all I did was I used a neon eyeliner and then I just put it under like my eye so it would look a little bit bigger. And for the eyelashes, I just took them off and then I put my eyelashes, which were these ones. The difference between this one that she put on me and this one that I put on myself like honey boo boo gave me like a dollar eyelashes compared to like the five dollar eyelashes that i buy let that sink in for a while so that was the eyelashes i talked about the eyeshadow i talked about the lips my contour you couldn't even see my contour like it was like shoop. but she didn't even do anything to it she just like she grabbed the brush i know this isn't the right brush but whatever i'm just showing with the brush but she grabbed the brush and she just went like Honey, you're supposed to like dab it in. Oh my, it was like, so like it wasn't good, but all I had to say was, thank you, I liked it. Like I, I'm not that type of person who's like rude and like tells him, oh my God, no, I hate it. Put different eyelashes on me, make my eyeshadow brighter. What are you doing to my lips? All I did was thank you. And then I just left and I came home and I just like redid my my whole entire face. <sighs> okay, so my outfit was um, neon. I'll post a photo of it. Neon. My mom did the bow tie. She did the the things that were on my wrist. I'm so thankful for her. So just putting that in there, just so you guys can know like what colors I used. Oh, and the dress that I wore was silver. I'll also be posting a video of me walking so that you guys can see like how I walk in a, in a fashion show or in an expo. <laughs> Bounce 
para quinceañeras. experience was really good um this was like my third year doing it so I, I really like know like what's going on and stuff i liked it because like you have like your own little moment to just like shine and be like oh this is who i am like i'm from this agency this is what we do this is um what this show so overall it was good except for the makeup part that was like that was my nightmare like i don't know <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, my overall experience was good. I liked um, walking, I liked seeing other girls walk with me to my agency too. Okay, so the only thing I wanted to say in this video was that I was triggered over that one lady using a highlighter on my lips. Like, if there's any makeup artists who are watching this, let me know if supposed to but if you can use a highlighter on someone's lips that's all I want to know because my lips are pretty fine right now all I did when I got home was like wipe it off and then just like put Vaseline on my lips and then just like put another lip liner a different color another green oh one thing I forgot to say was once I got there the lady the manager came in like 10 minutes no not 10 well yeah 10 minutes later and she told us, she was like, oh, we have a hairstylist here if anybody wants her to do your hair. I turned around and I was like, like, you could have told me this like yesterday before I woke up at like 6.30 in the morning to come with my hair done. Like I could have had like three more hours of sleep. What am I telling y'all? Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know that this was the expo that I went to. It's called Quinceañera Expo. It's run by this amazing lady. I don't know her, but she's amazing. She keeps track of like every different vendor that's there. Quinceañera Expo is basically like different vendors, um, like photographers, food people, um, DJs, um, entertainment, dresses, makeup. Um, shoes, crowns, so everything like that is there. So it's basically like a, an event that everybody comes and you can like get to know like the photographers if you want to have like a session with them for like your 15, your 16, or like for graduation, anything like that. Like linking down below like some of the photographers that I worked with, if that's like helpful for you guys, if you guys want to like know some different photographers, if you guys are like models and like want to like get in contact with them. This is all for today's video. I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a long time. It was like a week or so, but it feels such a long time for me. I was so busy with um, my raining stuff and my going to practices, going to events and stuff. And I'm really sorry. I'll keep on posting more videos. The next video, let me know on the comments down below what you guys want me to do. Also, please subscribe and like this video. Share it to your friends if you guys want to like have some tea about some makeup artist or whatever. Okay. So like I said, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this. Let me know any suggestions on like if I'm supposed to have highlighter on my lips or not. I know it's kind of late already, but just let me know so that I have a precaution. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. That's it. Thank you. See you on the next video. Bye.